this video, we will be assembling your Layla office chair. You would have received your Layla office chair in a box like this. You would have either ordered a Layla task chair or a Layla executive chair. In this video, we will be assembling the Layla executive chair. The assembly of the task and the executive is exactly the same, except the Layla executive has a headrest. Let's get started. On the top of the box, there is an open here label. The first thing you'll pull out of the box is a Ziploc bag containing three documents. The first document is our helpline document. Should you require any assistance in assembling the chair, or just in the chair. You can either contact us on our telephone number, an email address, or online on our website. The second document has our two QR codes, listing the assembly of the chair and also how to use the chair. And the last document is the component list of what you'll find in the box. The next thing in the box are the two armrests. Together with the headrest. And the backrest. The next thing is our seat. nylon base the casters in another box our gas lift together with our allen key and the last thing in the box is our mechanism We are now ready to assemble our Layla executive chair. We're going to start by assembling the base first on a flat surface. Turn your nylon base upside down. We start with the first caster and push it into the first leg. We repeat this process for the other four legs. Yeah, that's our base complete. We then take our gas lift and drop it into the base. The next step is to fit the headrest to the backrest. Let's start by taking the backrest and placing it on a firm flat surface. Attached to the backrest are the two Allen cap screws that we will use to fit the headrest to the backrest. We need to remove these two screws. In the box, you will have also received a plastic bag. And in the plastic bag is an Allen key that we'll use to remove these two screws but we also use the Allen key for all the other screws we need to assemble the chair. Also in the bag is a black cover. We will use this cover to fit over the headrest screws once the headrest 
has been attached to the backrest. Let's remove the screws from the backrest. We now take our headrest. And the headrest comes at its lowest position. In order to make it easier for us to fit the headrest to the backrest, we're going to extend the bracket on the headrest. We do this by taking our two forefingers and pushing down on the headrest. Once it's extended, we take our first Allen cap screw and insert it into the headrest, which makes life easy when locating it in the nut. Once both screws are located, we can then tighten the two Allen cup screws. Once the screws are tight, we take our black cover, take off the red strip, and place it over the two screws. We have now fitted our headrest to our backrest. The next step is to fit the armrests to the seat. We start by taking the seat and placing it on a flat surface, making sure that the gap at the back of the seat is closest to you. You'll also notice that the screws for the armrests are already in the seat. We need to remove the screws for the armrests first. We'll now take our right hand armrest. On the armrest, you'll notice the R inscribed into the armrest. That's our right hand armrest. From this perspective, the right hand armrest is going to go onto the left hand side of the seat. Put all three screws first before tightening them. There is a bit of play in the arms. Push the arm forward and tighten the screws. We now do our left hand arm. Once again on the armrest there is an L inscribed into the armrest. Once all three screws have been fitted, pull the arm towards you and tighten the screws. The next step is to fit the mechanism to the seat. Take the seat and place it on a flat surface. We then need to remove the fasteners for the mechanism, which are already in the seat. Once the fasteners have been removed, let's take our mechanism. At the back of the mechanism, there are four slots. When we place the mechanism onto the seat, make sure that the four slots are closest to you. We then take our four screws 
and by hand fit them into the mechanism. Once the four screws are located, we can then tighten the screws. The next step is to fit our backrest to our mechanism. Take the backrest. Once again, we have to remove the three screws that attach the backrest to the mechanism. Right, we can now fit the backrest into the mechanism, sliding it into the back of the mechanism. We will fit the center hole first and then the screws to the two outside holes. Once you have fitted all three screws, we can then tighten them, pushing the backrest forward into the mechanism. The final step is to fit your base onto the chair. Place your chair on its side on a flat surface. We then take our base and fit it into the chair. And that's your Laylee Executive Office Chair Assembled. Please make sure to watch the next video where we show you how to use your Layla Executive Chair.